हेलो एवरी वन हाव आर यू दिस इज़ अतीक बैक ऑन टू द वाओ अतीक एंड यू नो आई एम एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रीमली सो एंड इफ़ यू आर फॉलोइंग मी ऑन ट्विटर एंड इंस्टाग्राम यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन माई पोस्ट रिगार्डिंग माई एलनेस आई वॉज एडमिटेड इन हॉस्पिटल फॉर थ्री और फोर डेज आई डोंट नो बट यू नो एंड कपल ऑफ डेज आई वॉज अनकॉन्शियस एंड आई एम सो सॉरी सर आई आई एम सो सॉरी आई डिट एंड पोस्ट एनी थिंग इन मीन वाइल बट आई एम बैक नाउ एंड अलहमदिल्ला आई एम फीलिंग मच बेटर दैन बिफोर सो स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट लेक्चर एंड लेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ प्लान स्विफ्ट एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट हाउ विल वी लोड अ प्रोजेक्ट इन प्लान स्विफ्ट सो फर्स्ट ओपन प्लान स्विफ्ट सो here is the plan swift opening yeah i i guess you have installed the plan swift and i hope that you did not get any problems in that so anyway let's yeah plan swift is has opened so you know this is the some interface and we have talked about it in the last video so let's start that how will we load a, a project in our plan swift so first of all let me tell you that only pdf files will be opened in plan swift no other format so your drawings should be in pdf format so you can just click on new as i did and a dialog is opened you can put on and there is some other ways that you can go on this p button and you can click new so either way is fine so now you can see in this dialog you have some job names and job code numbers then description about the job then you can leave some notes and then there is some new locations about folder location and then there is a local location that plan swift automatically creates in your hard drive so so how will you start you will start by giving name to the your project like i am starting with 001 Cause is our lecture number one, and in the description, we are saying that opening a job in Plan Swift, right? This is our description, and in our notes, we are going to read that uh, YouTube videos. So, this is just only depend upon you that what information you want to give on here. Then press next, and now here it's, it will show you that how will. uh from where you can pick up your drawings so i am just going to browse my location i have put it on the desktop and in the new folder press okay and all the pdf files have opened here and i am just going to open structural set how many want how many do you want you can just check them and they all will be open so i have just opening on the structural set and then clicking next here is the main thing in this dialog Actually, what does Plan Swift do? Plan Swift converts that PDF format into an image file, and that image file is known as TIFF format. TIFF format. So basically, here it is asking us about you know like pixels that how much pixels you want in TIF formats. You can increase pixels over here, and that will give you the better accuracy and better look of the image. And then here in this which format do you want? Black and white, gray scale, color, color, true color. So I want it in true color. so let's keep in and all the other size will be and all the other settings will be the same press next and do not and you do not need to add anything over here because it's asking you about excel files you can later on we can do later on on this dialog box so press next simple and then finish now you can see that the plan swift is creating its job so basically what does it does it is doing here it is converting those pdfs into tifs yeah here i am back and we can see that uh, right now 24 pages has been converted out of 31 so uh it's going to be complete pretty soon and uh, yes yes now let's see here it goes yes it ought and done great here you can see that this is the view of your sheet these are the note sheets and again we talked about that there those 31 pages has been added in your pages and bookmarks tab all right so yes 
so these are some structural plans these are are, are named as bedside structural 20 and 2 19 but you can see they are having different individual names over here so in the next video let me show you that that was 2.1 and there that is 3.1 and its name is changed all right there are some details and on the previous sheet we are having some plans so in the next video i will going to show you that how will you rename this page so that every time you do not have to go to title block and see the name of the floor and see the name of the plan so you can just always pick it from here that